am going to WrestleMania, damn it. And I was pumped to see what would happen here because I am a Brock Lesnar mark. I'm a fan. I'm always in Brock Lesnar's corner. Everybody can attest to that. I've been this way for years, and I'm not changing. I understand the dynamics behind the Brock Lesnar character in WWE, the Brock Lesnar MMA fighter. Everything that Brock Lesnar does right now is about legacy. And if you guys think that he's trying to phone it in and be lazy in these matches, you are wrong. This motherfucker, he wants to perform at a high level. Just a lot of times he can't. And he tries. And he can't. When you put him against Kane. Last year, Royal Rumble, I looked at those results. Uh, it's a Royal Rumble last year. I'll never watch again, probably. But it was Brock defending the Universal title against Kane and Braun Strowman. That was last year's Brock match. So this year, we got something completely different. Finn Balor and WrestleMania, we got something completely different with Seth Rollins seen the match before but it's been years we haven't seen it since what 2015 brock mm -hmm. versus seth so and this is a new dynamic this is a new rollins this is a rollins that is a fire burn it down baby face that everybody wants to see so here we go into the the main attraction of the night paul Heyman sets the stage here basically tells rollins like yo you only have one choice here one choice and that's daniel bryan and uh for my money i think daniel bryan's gonna somehow get into a match with cena at wrestlemania I don't really see any other option at this point. I don't think they're going to do AJ Styles again. So uh, my my I'm, my bet, if I'm going to bet, if I'm a betting man, it's going to be Brian versus Cena. But uh, Lesnar and Rollins is going down. Rollins didn't have anything to say to Lesnar. Came out to the ring. A brawl ensued. Brock Lesnar beat the trash out of him. Nothing huge happened here. Just physicality. Just a big brawl to end the, the night between Rollins and uh, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar gets the upper hand. And it'll probably be a month or whatever until we see Lesnar again. So this is how Raw ended. It's going to be Rollins versus Lesnar at WrestleMania in the main event, dude. Uh, what do you think, man? Any final thoughts on this segment and the, the rest of Monday Night Raw? Yeah, um, I, I think Brock, like you said, I think Brock kind of gets um, a little bit of a bad rap sometimes. Uh, you know, I've got him right over my shoulder right here. You, um, you know, he is, uh, I, th I think personally, I think he gets a bad rap for people. I think people have taken this, he doesn't care about WWE storyline and have actually like attributed it to him as a person. And I don't think that's true. I think Brock cares very much about what happens with the ring. I think he cares very much about his performance. Um, you know, when he comes out on raw and, and it's just standing there with Paul Heyman, is he giving 100%? No, but how are we going to measure that? He, all he has to do is just stand there. So how are we going to measure if he's really invested when he, when all he's asked to do is stand there with the titles and stand next to Paul Heyman while he talks, um, so I don't see how we can attribute his work, work ethic to those moments. I, I can't really see that. I, now, I, one thing I can see is every time he's in a match with somebody he can work with, he puts on a good match, and he always and he seems to care. Um, he, his selling last night, I think people are really underrating how great he sold that um, that midsection injury early on in the match. I think he he really sold that the rest of the way. He sold that tonight with Seth Rollins. Um, you know, I think. I think Brock gets a bad rap, and I think, and I think even that clip from uh, WWE 24 have, has kind of continued to fuel the thing of like this guy hates being there. He's he's just so pissed off about being with WWE. It's like no, dude, he probably was upset that that match sucked so bad because exactly you remember he's coming exactly. back from that Roman match and it was horrible. So he probably hated that he was had to be involved in that. Um, so in the end, Brock, I think, is going to put on a great ma match with Seth Rollins. I think I think Brock cares about Seth Rollins. They've worked together in the past, and I think he's going to care enough to to kind of put this guy over. If 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 Hunter and Vince sit him down and go, hey, this is the guy we're going to go with. This is this is who we want to you know to win this title. I think he'll do business, and you know I think Seth Rollins was great tonight. Um, you know one thing that again maybe nitpicking a little bit, the fact that he got five F fives tonight. I, that just kind of doesn't sit well with me, um, especially him kind of getting up after that fourth one, kind of really no selling four F5s kind of, again, from a wrestling's perspective and a, and a kayfabe perspective, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. But again, we've still got a lot of time until they actually wrestle like three months. So I'm, I'm okay with, with what happened tonight. I guess they really wanted to establish Brock Lesnar tonight. They did that. I'm interested to see what, uh, what's next. It wouldn't surprise me if, uh, and, and you know, a lot of people were, were speculating that this would go down at the Royal Rumble in some way, shape, or form. It wouldn't surprise me if we see Roman Reigns return at WrestleMania. Not in like a wrestling capacity, not like come back full time or anything, but it wouldn't surprise me if he made a cameo in this match to maybe either A, help Seth Rollins 
or B, celebrate with Seth Rollins at the end of the night um, just for a pop. It wouldn't surprise me. But uh, Roman, just to speak for Roman for a Welcome second, looks good. Corner, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Be a second. I mean, he can contribute. I know he can do something. Just, you know, maybe not get physical if, if you're still fucked up or whatever and, uh, and sick. But uh, listen, man, at the end of the day, I think they're going with Seth Rollins. That's the way to go. He's earned it. He's been on fire. He's had some awesome – dating back to last year when he had that uh, – remember that gauntlet match he oh. had where he, like, ran the, oh, almost yeah. ran the table? It was amazing. It was f- fucking fantastic. And uh, he's been earning his stripes in all of 2018 into the early this year. And, man, going to be Seth versus Brock. So uh, 